Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. The Curse of Oak Island, team uncover 200-year-old shaft and learn of possible Spanish treasure on the island. On tonight's episode of The Curse of Oak Island, Rick and Marty Lagina and their team discover a 200-year-old shaft which could lead them directly to the money pit. They also look forward to the data gathered via a massive seismic scanning operation begun last week. Could this intel finally provide the clues needed to solve the centuries-old mystery that has captivated generations of treasures hunters? In footage from this week's episode, Marty is exuberant as he scans Smith's Cove. It is littered with dynamite charges and he says, This looks like a minefield. The island can't keep its secret anymore. Will his confidence be proven right? Will the map created with seismic scanning data reveal evidence of tunnels and voids that could conclusively resolve the baffling mystery of what lies beneath the small island? Meanwhile, metal detecting expert Gary Drayden is at his usual best as he discovers what could be a very valuable artifact. This is a 1700 ship spike, he declares after unearthing his latest find. Elsewhere the team make another exciting discovery when they find what is described as a tunnel at a site where wooden posts are clearly seen protruding from the earth. The official description from this week's episode reveals, excitement grows when the team discovers a 200-year-old searcher shaft, which could lead them directly to the money pit. But that's not all they find fascinating on this week's episode of history's popular documentary series. The team also meet up in the war room with a guest who has an incredible tale to tell. He informs the team that he has discovered Spanish ships deposited their treasure on Oak Island and protected the riches with flood tunnels. Wow, responds Marty. This information is intriguing considering that last week's guest provided information about a possible French treasure deposited on the island. Could it be that instead of one major find, the team will uncover multiple treasure deposits? The murky waters and dense forests of Oak Island have concealed many secrets for centuries, but none more tantalizing than the legend of buried treasure. Over the years, many have come to the island, driven by tales of pirate gold, lost artifacts, and the notorious curse that guards it all. On this particular expedition, the team of explorers felt a heightened sense of anticipation. The previous week had yielded promising clues and today they were on the brink of a breakthrough. Rick and Marty Lagina, seasoned treasure hunters, along with their dedicated crew, stood before the entrance of a newly discovered shaft. It was different from the others they had explored, this one had a certain aura, a sense of history etched into the very stones that formed its walls. According to the latest findings, this shaft dated back over 200 years, coinciding with the earliest known attempts to uncover the island's secrets. As the team descended into the shaft, the air grew cooler, and the light from their headlamps revealed the meticulous craftsmanship of those who had dug it long ago. The walls were reinforced with sturdy timber, and occasional markings hinted at the identity of the original diggers. Excitement buzzed in the air as they moved deeper, each step bringing them closer to what they hoped would be a significant discovery. Halfway down, Alex Lagina, Rick's son, spotted something unusual. Embedded in the wooden support beams were several coins, their designs faded but still discernible. He carefully pried one loose and held it up to the light. The team gathered around, marveling at the coin's intricate patterns. It was Spanish, unmistakably from the 1700s, this discovery was more than just a coin, it was a breadcrumb leading them to a larger cache of treasure. The deeper they went, the more they uncovered. An old leather satchel, badly deteriorated but still holding fragments of parchment, hinted at the existence of a map. The pieces were too fragile to decipher on the spot, but they promised clues to the next steps. The team's historian, Dr. David Fernetti, carefully collected the satchel and its contents, knowing the potential value of what lay within. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, they reached the bottom of the shaft. Here, the air was thick with mystery, and the ground was littered with artifacts. Among the debris, a large ornate chest stood out. 
It was partially buried, its iron fittings rusted with age. The team worked together to excavate it, each member holding their breath as they lifted the lid. Inside they found an assortment of items, each one more intriguing than the last. There were gold coins, jewelry encrusted with precious stones, and finely crafted silverware. But what caught their attention most was a small, intricately carved wooden box. Its lid bore the emblem of a Spanish galleon, and inside, wrapped in velvet, was a collection of documents. As they carefully unfolded the documents, it became clear that they were looking at the logbooks of a Spanish ship. The records detailed the journey of a galleon that had sailed from the Caribbean, laden with treasure, only to meet a mysterious end near Oak Island. The logbook entries spoke of hidden coves, secret alliances, and a desperate attempt to secure the treasure from pirates and other frets. One entry in particular stood out. It described how the ship's crew, fearing capture, had buried a portion of their treasure on the island, creating the very shaft the team had just explored. The captain had planned to return for it later, but fate had other plans, leaving the treasure lost for centuries. The discovery of the logbooks was a game-changer. It provided historical context to the treasure hunt and offered new leads to follow. The team knew that the chest they had found was likely just a small part of a much larger hoard. With renewed determination, they set about planning their next steps. Back at their base, the team pored over the logbooks and the fragments of the map from the satchel. Dr. Fernetti used advanced techniques to restore the parchment, revealing a detailed diagram of Oak Island and the locations where the Spanish crew had hidden their loot. The map indicated several key sites, each marked with symbols corresponding to landmarks on the island. Rick and Marty gathered the team, their faces alight with the thrill of discovery. We've always believed there was more to Oak Island than met the eye, Rick said, holding up the restored map. This proves it. The Spanish were here and they left us a trail to follow. Over the following weeks, the team methodically explored the sites indicated on the map. Each new location brought its own challenges and rewards. They found more artifacts including a set of ceremonial weapons, a collection of gold ingots and even an ancient gem-studded crucifix. Each find reinforced their belief that they were on the right track. As the summer wore on, Word of their discoveries spread, attracting attention from historians, treasure hunters, and the media. The legend of Oak Island was alive and well, fueled by the tangible evidence uncovered by Rick, Marty, and their dedicated team. The island, with its mix of history, mystery, and danger, continued to captivate the imagination of all who heard its story. The curse of Oak Island had long promised untold riches and secrets. Now, with the uncovering of the 200-year-old shaft and the revelation of the Spanish treasure, the team was closer than ever to solving the island's greatest riddle. The journey was far from over, but with each discovery, they inched closer to the ultimate goal, unlocking the full mystery of Oak Island and uncovering the treasure that had eluded so many before them.